see. Vox operator with an Vox operator with Sigmund, Medic with Zhao. I don't remember who taught the Ordnance Master. Did Xanthus do that? It was you. Oh, okay. But for now, Xanthus will teach the Ordnance Master. And I'm pretty sure he was teaching the priest about the good stuff. Yeah, the last time you knowledge. taught Exalt uh, something. Yeah, I think you were teaching. Yeah, Forbidden Lore. Yeah, I can't teach you ecclesiarchal stuff, but I sure as hell can teach you forbidden things that neither of us are supposed to know. Well, you're not supposed to know. Me, I can know whatever. Yeah, that also, I regarding training in general, I'm gonna change uh, one thing. Uh, now, you will be able to teach them something like a skill or a trait, like one thing per two weeks. And my explanation is that they... Due to situation, they gain like sudden influx of abilities, and they manage to like inject, not inject it, uh, not inhale it, uh, soak it, soak the sudden uh, burst of knowledge from at them. Uh, but now it won't be that easy. So, like, if you have like month of travel, then you will get like two training uh, actions regarding um, skills and uh, traits. Hello, Gabriel. Skills and traits. And there will be a second thing. You will, uh, depending on, uh, like, if you will have at least a month of traveling and downtime, what you will be able to do is to focus purely on upgrading one of the uh, attributes. So, like, if you want to focus that a guy having better. Fellowship, then you can spend the time off on uh, getting that. And I'm not talking plus five, like at minimum plus ten for a month of training downtime. So, hmm. anyways, I will, I will I will remind you about that when if we will get to downtime. Very well. Yeah. Okay, but you didn't miss. Too much, we just did the thing with Moriana retiring. Benjamin popped in, uh, and long story short, he basically uh, went with uh, Farseer. Faris and we had PG 13 Max S uh, Mass Effect style sex scene. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, Benjamin and the Farseer? No, Moriana no. and Farseer. Really? Mm-hmm. It was that PG-13 good stuff, man. It kind of okay. healed some of her insanity points. That was the very last parting gift. Well, good sex can do that for you. Yep, you can just ask another one of my characters. Well... An NPC, I guess. Anyway. Will Moriana be returning to the fold, or...? Nope. No. Uh, yeah, and also that's the thing. Xantis gathered you, Caldra, and Command Squad, and basically informed you that, yeah, Moriana, Moriana left. And yeah, oh, to and... you, to you specifically, only to you, Zig only to Caldra, not to Command Squad. He also, can you repeat that, Xantis, that bit if you said about the note and whatnot? Well, actually, I'd like to wreck on something because I only just now noticed that in the Discord, um, mentioned that Moriana ends her note with an apology. <laughs> so, uh, it was apology to Kenneth. And okay, I'm about to say if that was the Xanthus, I mean, out of out of character, too. that what Kenneth straight thought meant. Oh, okay, so that was a apology to Kenneth. Okay, never mind. I don't need to wreck on anything. Whew, thank God. Um, okay, then in that case. Uh, Oh, what Xanthus is telling to the Cadre specifically is that Benjamin has no intention of staying with the Eldar and is simply going to is simply going to move on basically at his leisure as soon as he's done with whatever he's doing with them. Ah. 
cool. So we don't need to spend the months or years of preparation trying to liberate him from an Eldar ship. Instead, we can actually <laughs> instead we can actually focus on well, Inquisitor. No, that would be an Inquisitorial matter. Instead, we can focus on other matters. Hmm. Well, then what's next? For now, we return to Scintilla. We need to prepare ourselves. Beyond that, we need to report on a mission completion. After all, the cannon did fire, and uh, Lord Inquisitor Caden will want to be informed of its success. Pity that it can be preserved for the Imperium's use. Mm, true. However, if that cannon had ever been taken, well, any planet could be destroyed. So perhaps it's better that something that powerful doesn't exist. Oh, well, that ends well, I suppose. Yes, indeed. Yeah, as you'll be... Uh, sorry, unless you wanted to play more of this scene. I'm good. I have no, a habit of sometimes just interjecting without... <laughs> oh, I do, so... <laughs> At least you apologize for it. I don't ever apologize for the same thing. So, <laughs> <forget>. <laughs> Okay, uh, basically as soon as you get within like the range of Vox comes, you get a priority message from not Lord Inquisitor himself, but you know, one of the servants of Inquisition uh, reporting that obviously after the initial entire identifying yourself and whatnot, uh, just saying that uh, Lord Inquisitor Caden will expect you at Calixian Conclave and at your earliest convenience. Which basically translates... Now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> which Xanthus will have a little chuckle at. Like, uh, I do believe that is my master's polite way of saying I have three days to be right in front of him. Not even three days, actually. More like three hours. Full speed ahead. And yeah, bridge, like, serious. And a few hours later, yeah, like two or three uh, hours later, you approach Scintilla, you go to docking area closest to uh, Calixian Conclave. And uh, I imagine it would it would not be in Inquisition's uh, modus operandi to have some sort of welcoming committee, so I expect that apart from usual administrator guy and some just security and you know guys that basically note who comes in and out, uh, there is really not much unusual activity going on. Um, although, like, Inquisitorial Servant, like, welcomes you on the planet, and also uh, politely reminds of a meeting with Lord Inquisitor, and he also mentions that uh, there is a specific briefing room, he will be basically in polite way insisted that there will be a guide at the main entrance that will then lead you specific briefing room. Very well. Uh, yeah, but just just before like as you were docking, but just before opening of the hatch, uh Kenneth 
comes up to you, uh, Xanthis, and like, uh, sir, um, are we to do anything specific on while on Scintilla, or uh, can we say to men that they have some R and R? All right, surely. Almost forgot. Thanks for the reminder. Yes, tell the men that they can feel free to relax. Though this time, I don't want any bar fights, if it can be avoided. <laughs> he smirks. I just wanted to say that I will, I hope, and I will try to to make them not end in another bar fight. Good man. Good luck. Uh, several dozen drunken men and perhaps women. I think perhaps. I think luck will be needed, sir. And then he like with a like he said like like with a smile and then he salutes and leaves to inform the others. Nope. He's got a hellish of a forty five. He's plenty lucky, I think. <laughs> Well, 25. he had he had Less solid trolls. Chance of passing. He had solid trolls at that weapon complex when he was. <laughs> Assuming I remembered about them. <laughs> Anyways, um. So yeah, you go to. A massive, dominating building of Calixan Conclave that its authority and. Uh, or that this is the feeling that lesser mortals get when they get close to it, assuming for whatever reason uh, that there is like slight fear raping them. Because everybody, like, people know that this is headquarters of Inquisition, which, no matter what, has somewhat of a fearsome reputation across Imperium. And the atmosphere itself is usual for you, like there is no sudden burst of a and people are just going around with their business, inquisitors and their cadras meeting together, planning, scheming for their next moves, because Obviously, apart from saving Imperium, killing mutants, heretics, and Xenos, there is also this entire fucking a la Game of Thrones webway of political intrigue and trying to be the biggest fish in a pond. Like the bigger fish. Because obviously everybody knows that in Calixia or like in Scintilla, Caden is the biggest Not untouchable, of course, but... There's always a bigger fish until you get to Caven. Yeah, I mean, Alucard, obviously, if somebody does something stupid that would put him in direct conflict with Ecclesiarchy, then obviously he would be like, yeah, you can take him, and he will like throw him under. <laughs> yeah, you can have him. Like, damn. Oh, yeah, if you fuck up, he will have no qualms whatsoever to, like, throw you under the bus. Anyways, like, uh, the guide at the front door just nods and salutes respectfully, and then, uh, mostly in quiet, like, this is the sort of person that doesn't engage in small talk with inquisitors, perhaps that's how he was taught. He leads you to, a. Uh, secluded uh, average size uh, room although with very uh, the looks like royal almost like regal looking very fancy furniture inside and then a guy is like or oh, inquisitor is awaiting inside and then he'll like leave you time for a long awaited meeting and this goes to where he's supposed to go. Yep. And then you enter, obviously, like the last time, half of the room is like almost in complete darkness. There's like few light sources. Uh, and Caden is his in the usual attire. His silhouette mostly uh, close in shadows with mask on his face. 
standard procedure procedure to make sure that nobody knows his well how he looks so that he may stalk the collection concave and purge it when necessary he already did it so three times uh, and then he like he was pondering upon something and upon your entering he he turned and his uh, voice, carrying the air of authority, says, uh, Interrogator Xantis, uh, Crimson Guard Zygmunt, Noble General, welcome, please, sit. Thank you, Lord Inquisitor. Okay. For now, he clear like his tone clearly says that for now he's all business and no pleasant. <sighs> Shall I begin with a report on our mission? He, uh, as Lord Miserer sits himself, he even if his uh, being is. Hidden, sh you can only see his silhouette, like you can feel his gaze laying down upon you, and then he like offers us very noticeable nod. Proceed. Of course. Uh, what was the name of that um, cannon again? Black. What? Blackstone Heart. In canon, there were there's like one left Blackstone Fortress, as I realized. Which after last black uh, black crusade is under, I think it's under like demon possession, unless I pronounce it wrong. No, it felt chaos. Yes. The rest were destroyed. Yeah, so Blackstone Heart is like a knockoff of this. Hmm. It could have just Mission. been a fourteenth one, or perhaps it was some old one weaponry hidden even better. Yeah, because I think, yeah, Blackstone Fortresses were made by old ones. Are there old ones or neck ones? One of the two. I can Google it. Something ancient. Oh, well, they were what based so I guess maybe they were um, old ones. Yep, so, yeah. I mean, if you don't want to, Xavier, you can just give me TLDR what you say him, but you can go with, like, word by word brief. Hmm. Oh. Are there debriefing? Eh, let's just go with the TLDR. We went to Blackstone Heart. Our mission was a success. However, Marabas escaped and has become an ascended demon, yada, 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 yada. Like, basically, Xanthus is... The TLDR, Xanthus tells everything that happened in terms of he tells everything the Cadre has been through from the time that he left Scintilla all the way back to now. Um, do you leave anything out? Like fate of Moriana? Because Yeah, he he doesn't ask like he, he listens very carefully, he doesn't ask anything, but I'm asking you as a player now before he says Um no, Xanthus isn't going to leave that out. Do you also mention the thing with Benjamin? Sorry if you said that I will perhaps like black out for a second. And I... uh, Xanthus doesn't leave out any details. Okay. Yeah, so... Like, after you finish, there's like good half a minute of As obviously, a large inquisitor takes it all in and por ponders greatly about multitude of things. Well, very well. Obviously, I will begin with this. Congratulations on completing your mission. You done Imperium a great service, and you acted like a fro agent should. Thank you, Lord Inquisitor.
Thank you, my lord. He'll nod. Now, I perhaps need to ask about certain things. Do you perhaps learned anything about Benjamin's past? Any clue that would indicate uh, why, like about his current state? I must say I took some measure to investigate a love of family on its own, but I found nothing that will indicate his current, well, his current status. Um, were we? T did Benjamin tell us anything that would have given us a clue to that? Um, about his past, not really. It's more of a thing that he also like out of character because I don't know if I say that in character. But basically, the thing with his past is now that even he, even he doesn't know for now, and perhaps he'll look for for intel. It's like the thing with not crossing uh, time streams, not crossing your own, like mm. this analogy. In that case, Zentis will say, unfortunately, unfortunately, I haven't uh, turned my attention to researching Benjamin's past, and he didn't give us much information about his history to go off of. Very well, then perhaps it might be a venture of research, if not for you, then for somebody else. Trustful, of course. I mean, trustful. Like, he mentions it that he won't give it to, like, first Zealot's Inquisitor, but somebody that will not fuck this up and no, not over... Then... I will also ask, I... As much as that time was pleasant, and as much as I got an insight in Benjamin's char character, I imagine events at Blackstone Heart and what have transpired afterwards changed him. You spent more time with him. And my question will be this. Uh, would you believe, in your opinion, that he might pose a threat to Imperium? Mm -hmm. Zhao or Sigmund can feel free to correct me if they believe me to be wrong. However, I don't believe that Benjamin will be a threat to the Imperium. He has no... Mm -hmm. He has no motivation to do so directly, and he seems too intelligent to be tricked into doing it. He also has very little keeping him from the reverse. Keeping him from the reverse? Very little keeping, out of character, very little keeping him from deciding, hey, I want to fuck with the Ah. Uh. He is a... Uncertain element. As such, a potential threat. Something merely to keep in mind, perhaps. Hmm. There are your opinions, Lord Inquisitor. You will. Very well. Um, I will expect uh, written reports and your analysis, uh, like for like in two days' time, whatever you can think of about him, and ideas, of suggestions, course. everything that can be your knowledge about that person. Although, I mean, you also like mentioned the meeting with Benjamin while on Eldar's ship and the things that he said that he like, like, 
the logic, what he said, if it was true, then you logically know that that means he is very, very... Did he also say that? Yeah. Just making sure. Oh, yes. Mm. And this situation is a little muddled, shall we say. Um, I think it more to say that Benjamin himself, defining his age, the entity that should we say his soul or the intelligence behind his incarnations or transmigrations seems to have existed for I'm not sure approximately 1,000 uh, uh, approximately 10,000 years at the minimum perhaps longer hmm that's Talk about the. It seems to be somewhat unmoored from uh, normal temple considerations. So it might simply be a matter of existing in multiple points simultaneously, wherein its age, if such a thing could even be considered to apply, might not be necessarily what we would think of it. However, the, that also does leave open the idea that its breadth of experience could include multiple timelines outcomes. He has shown a reluctance to look into the future. However, that is not necessarily an inability. Something I think should be kept under consideration while we take steps to protect ourselves and our interests. I will certainly give the matter more thought, my lord. I do hope to have some, at least, preliminary methods of uh, avenues of attack, should the worst come to pass. Or should we decide that uh, his continued existence is intolerable? Hmm. Uh... Yeah, Lord Hayden poured this for a longer moment, and uh, it's like whisper to uh, Xantis, like straightforward, which I'm gonna whisper, and then out loud he will uh, respond. Very well then, standard. I imagine standard procedure to potential threats of Imperium. Figuring it out how it works and how to deal with it should the worst come to pass. Hope for the best, plan for the worst. Jack will be inclined his head to that. <sighs> Perhaps if we learn how he came to be, we might get answers. If he is some warp deity or if it was perhaps another necron experiment from ages ago <sighs> who knows perhaps your or other cadres venture will bring forth answers yet i'll leave at the final decision to what you will decide to do about this. Speaking of... And then he like looks at each and every one of you. Uh, ignoring the obvious fact of replacement that I will... If you require my help to uh, acquire it, then I will be... I'll provide it. But... I want to also ask what perhaps without my director what is your next plan of action hmm. my next plan of well what i have planned next is to oh pause for my moment all right what i intend to do next is solve the situation with the dominant
Yes, my next plan is to handle the situation with the Dominant, or at least get started on it. More accurately, I intend to return to Colt and help uh, Admiral... What is that Admiral's name again? Admiral is Johannes Dumac. I intend to aid Admiral Dumac with the situation occurring on Colt. And after that, I shall see where I stand. With, uh, depending on how the dominant proceeds, I have many other tasks to attend to. Hunting down a rogue inquisitor, discovering the meaning of my dreams, doing research on Benjamin, and I, at some point,